Stephen Hawking was the modern world's Albert Einstein. Soaring across the cosmos with the power of his mind, he unlocked many of the mysteries of the universe, helping to advance human civilization. And despite his debilitating disease, he was also a prolific writer, speaker, and pop culture personality. He made it his goal to make science more accessible to every man, but sadly, he passed away on March 14th, 2018 at the age of 76. Ready to expand your mind about one of the greatest geniuses of our time? I'm Mike with List 25. And I'm Hope with List 25. And here are 25 inspiring facts about Stephen Hawking you probably didn't know. Twenty-five. He loved math at a young age, but his father wanted him to study medicine. He eventually studied physics at Oxford because mathematics wasn't a major. Twenty-four. He didn't learn to read well until he was eight, and by his own words was a lazy student all the way through Oxford. Those lazy, lazy Oxford students. Lazy students. Twenty-three. He was born on the 300th anniversary of Galileo's death and died on Albert Einstein's birthday. Suck it, Albert. 22. In 1963, he was diagnosed with a myotrophic lateral sclerosis and should have only survived three years, but instead he lived for another 50 years. Freaking amazing. I wish I could live for an extra 50 years. 21. He dreamed of writing a physics book that the general public could understand and wrote it with his speech synthesizer and assistance from his students. The result was A Brief History of Time, published in 1988. 20. After undergoing a tracheotomy, he lost his voice and required 24-hour care. Thankfully, in 1985, a Californian computer programmer caught wind of his condition and made a computer to help him speak with his head and eye movement. 19. Hawking married twice. The first was the mother of his three children, but that ended in divorce in 1990. He left his wife for his nurse, Elaine Mason. However, she filed for divorce with him in 2006. 18. To prove backward time travel probably wasn't real, Stephen Hawking hosted a party for time travelers. And no one came. Oh. Which was the point, I guess. He even sent invitations after the party ended. There was a dude on Reddit recently who someone, like, the, the question was, if you could go back in time and change anything, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Or if you had the power of time travel and the guy said, I would go to Stephen Hawking's party just to screw with the book. <laughs> so I, like I would that. just show up. I like yeah. that too. 17. His PhD doctoral thesis was called Properties of the Expanding Universe. It basically tried to show how the universe could be created in mathematical terms, starting with the Big Bang. When it was made available online, the website hosting the thesis crashed. 16. Hawking claimed to have been an atheist and didn't believe in personal God, heaven, or the afterlife. Despite this, he still claimed the universe and life had meaning. What do you think it means? 42. 15. Not only was he a famous scientist, but he also appeared on several television shows, including Star Trek, The Simpsons, and The Big Bang Theory. 14. Hawking was very vocal, ha, about how the world would end. Of his theories, he claimed artificial intelligence, nuclear war, pandemics, climate change, or overpopulation will end humanity. As such, he was a big proponent of finding a new planet to live on. Ooh, what planet would you live on? Real or fake? Real. The obvious for me is Mars. It seems closest yeah. to Earth. Um, okay, fake. Well, you know. I'm still drawn to Tatooine. Oh. It's it's sandy. I know. No, I don't like sand. <laughs> Why not? It's coarse, rough, and irritating, and it gets like a few places. A lot of places. Somebody doesn't <laughs> like the beach. Why wouldn't you like Coruscant? Coruscant's fine. I think it's just I don't know. I have a. It's the first planet we ever see, and I have something as I'm, I'm drawn mean it to it. Stop. <coughs> Nerds. <laughs> Thirteen. At the age of 65, he flew up in a space shuttle to experience zero gravity. He was weightless for a total of four minutes. That would be freaking awesome. Twelve. He has an equation named after him called Hawking's Equation. How oh, how original. The formula is a centerpiece for our understanding of black holes. He said he wants it engraved on his tombstone. Was it? Is it? We should check that. We should find out if it is. 11. Along with Jim Hartle, he came up with the boundless universe theory in 1983. It claims the universe has no boundaries, 
but also a contained entity. 10. He made a bet with fellow physicist John Preskill in 1997 that information was lost in black holes. Preskill disagreed and said information can escape them. In 2004, Hawking admitted he was wrong. It takes a lot to admit oh, you're wrong. Man. Wow. It's, I, I'm never wrong, so it's kind of hard for me to... I don't know what that's like. Sorry. 9. In 1985, he suffered a bout of pneumonia and almost died. His doctors offered to take him off life support, but his wife refused. Thankfully, he survived and recovered enough to finish A Brief History of Time. 8. He received several awards and distinctions, including the Albert Einstein Award, the Hughes Medal from the Royal Society, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Barack Obama. 7. He is also a children's book author. He and his daughter Lucy co-wrote a series of children's books, the first one called George's Secret Key to the Universe. Four more books were published in the series. I kind of want to read that. 6. While he didn't believe in God, he did think other evolved extraterrestrials exist. He did warn, however, that if they ever visited us, it might not turn out so well for humanity. Have you heard the quote where they say that extraterrestrials have probably visited us, but they didn't find any intelligent life? That sucks. Come back. <laughs> so, SOS. We've learned things oh, no. now. We've <laughs> learned we suck? Our audience has watched enough list 25, we're smart now. Yeah, come back, we're good. Five. He once claimed if humanity ever figured out how to harness the power of a black hole, we could easily power all of Earth's power grid. Four. He, among other physicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson, supported the multiverse theory, which suggests we're just one of several parallel universes out among the cosmos. Three. He earned $3 million after winning the Special Fundamental Physics Prize for his large body of work. 2. It's estimated by the London Evening Standard that his net worth was $6.9 million, most of which came from the sales of his books. 1. Undoubtedly a genius of the modern age, Hawking's IQ is unknown. He once said in an interview with the New York Times after they asked him about his IQ, I have no idea. People who boast about their IQs are losers. <laughs> I concur. So, how did Stephen Hawking inspire you? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answers to us at List25. What's your IQ, Mike? Uh, three. <laughs> You're just probably pretty high. I don't know. I on List25. It's at least five. I've liked it. Yeah, that. Least, I've learned at least 25 things, one point per item. Then you multiply that by how many videos that you've done. That's a lot Over of facts. 25,000 is my IQ then. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.